844, welcome back. A year into this pandemic and healthcare workers are still pulling long hours and exposing themselves to the coronavirus. And today, take a moment to say thank you because it's National Doctors Day. Dr. Abisola Ololade from Sharpree Steely joins us now. Good morning, Dr. Abisola. Good morning, Lauren. It's good to see you. And good Paul to see great. you too and happy Doctors Day. Thank you. Thank you so much. What are you doing to celebrate? Working. <laughs> <laughs> More work, as always. <laughs> tell, yeah. us, tell us a little bit about the idea behind National Doctors Day. I mean, it, it's it's been around for a little while, but and, and obviously we have a clear reason to be thankful today. But tell us uh, about this idea of National Doctors Day. Well, I think it's a day that celebrates not only doctors, but medical providers, because certainly being a doctor is not possible without every single person that works in healthcare to support us and um, help us to reach our goal of taking care of patients, which is something that we keep first and foremost always. And so I want to thank everyone who um, works to take care of patients, anyone who crosses the threshold of a hospital, whether it's our housekeeping staff, technicians, nurses, physician assistants, all, everyone who has really stepped up in this fight, which really was a war and still is a war. I really want to extend my gratitude to them and they make me really proud to be a part of them. Yeah, I mean, when you when you have dreams of becoming a doctor and you do all the hard work to go to med school, you never really think about, especially in this day and age, uh, a huge pandemic hitting like the one that we've been going through. So, uh, I mean, this is this is like that moment you train for and you've, you've all done so well and we're so thankful for it. As we are ahead of that, you know, at that, that year and change mark and we're starting to see thankfully more vaccinations, uh, how, how are you feeling about where we are in this pandemic and, and what needs to be done and, and reminders? Because we're, we're hearing warnings now from the CDC with more traveling uh, from spring break and hey, we're not like through this yet with uh, the majority vaccinated. So what are your thoughts at where we are now? Well, I'm really encouraged, but at the same time, I'm also really nervous because in terms of the encouraging news, the CDC released uh, some data yesterday, which shows that the vaccines, the mRNA vaccines protect against infection, even asymptomatic infection, which is one of the most dangerous things about this virus. People can spread it without having symptoms. It's part of why it's caused so much havoc. And they found that it is protective against infection up to 80% after the first dose and 90% after the second dose. Certainly it's not 100%, so it's not time to ditch those masks, but the fact that we're seeing this real world evidence that was done on about almost 4,000 uh, workers in healthcare is really, really great. When we do studies, they're in laboratory conditions, but in the real world, we're seeing this evidence and that's wonderful. But we're also on the flip side of that, seeing you know the images from people going out and partying without masks. We're seeing case counts go up and in some states they're plateauing. So that's really worrisome. It is a very risky time. It seems like we're at the end, but we're very much not at the end of this. And when you say we're, we're not at the end, is it because of the percentage of, of population that's still not vaccinated? I mean, is that when we're really going to round the corner of this pandemic? That is a big part of it. So there's a lot of vaccine optimism. And everyone's excited about the vaccines, but we don't realize that it's only about 15% of the population that's been fully vaccinated, which is nowhere near any estimates of herd immunity. And there are also variants that are circulating. We know that they are more transmissible. We are seeing that the variant found in the UK, which is more transmissible and potentially can cause more severe cases is actually becoming dominant as predicted. And so we definitely need to keep all of this in mind. There's also some vaccine hesitancy, which can also delay us getting to herd immunity. So we, we're definitely still in a fight, even though it doesn't seem like it, we all have to remember that. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, we are going to honor the day, honor the doctors, healthcare workers that have uh, just really been 
pulling extra hours and a lot of stress and we're just incredibly grateful for the work and dedication. So thank you, happy National Doctors Day. Don't work too hard. Thank you. Thank you for all you do as well. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Dr. Abasola Olulade from Sharp Reese Steely. Thank you.